This one are good morning news. I they go through my Facebook. Now I can see that stupid Desmond Elliot. They open a rotting mouth. They call Nigerian youth children. I don't know what it is Desmond Elliot me by calling us children. You don't forget, say you be street boy before. Desmond Elliot, you don't forget, say you be street boy before. If not for the Nigerian movies, when he bring you out, who know you for this country as human being? Oh, I'm not surprised. I'm not that surprised because your belly, where your mama carry your belly, is not complete before she deliver you. I'm very sure you'll be premature picking. Even if they look your face, it really resemble premature picking. Seven months picking that you be. For you to go that your so-called ass of weighty, they call us children. You not fear. You feel say you don't arrive. Now show that you can't carry for us. Now God now go punish you this month, Elliot. For you to call our youth, our able-bodied men, our citizens, children, you not get res respect for yourself. You are a stupid person. Even as rich as Donald Trump, People see abuse to Donald Trump anyhow. They call him names. They call him liars. Watch your TV very well. You see how they abuse Donald Trump, as rich as Donald Trump. Then are you will be Desmond Elliot or any house of rep or anybody for the way they're not they let our head they correct. Then you can't they provoke us with the talk of say end SAS. We can't enter say end bad governor. Now you jump from nowhere. Say you won't show yourself. Maybe they don't say you did there. People don't say you did there before. Must you talk? You not see the people where they sleep, where they go there. Must you talk? Nobody is interested in your talking. We want you to keep silent because you don't have anything to contribute. Stop provoking people. Stop to they remind us our suffering. Stop to they remind us our youth where they kill. Just keep your mouth short and silent because you don't have anything to say. Calling us children, we were raising courses. You never see courses, so we go raise courses, so tell you go run, come up for that seat. In fact, I urge every Nigerian woman, if they break our prayer point, God, every bad leader in this country to drop deaths. Let the fire from above roast that bad leader to, 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 to finish. That is our prayer point. And God, they hear the prayers of women. We should keep on praying this prayer as every day because we know say one day God must respond. God must answer. God is not a man. He doesn't sleep. You see, don't for that your so-called ass of Waiting call, they call us children. Where well, you don't forget, say you be street boy before. In fact, if you don't know where you they come from, you not go also know where you they go. The same people where you call streets, where you call children today, now they raise their hand for you to go to that place. And the same children, now you go come meet when you retire from that place. You don't ever see anybody when you sit down for that house of waiting call for 100 years. You don't see anybody when you did there for 100 years, even for 50 years. People go there, they retire and they leave. So when you retire now, now the same children you come in, I go see whether they go bury you for that place when you die. Or I go see if not there, your, your, when you die, where, you, where, you, where God call you, I go see if they go bury you for that house of weighty core. Because you're not wise. You're not guessing. You get shallow brain. People that has a shallow brain, this is how they talk anyhow. You just stand up. Wake up from your sleep. Say, now nah, nah, nah the youth, you won't go full for your house of idiot. Oh, you just say people, they're happy. 
People they run up and now people are traveling to you, you uh, abroad every day. You think they are happy. Parents borrow money to send their children to abroad, and at the end, the children will not get to their destinations. You think those parents are happy? Do you know how many of our boys, Nigerian boys, that are in the prison in Europe and abroad? Do you know how many of our guests? That is into prostitution for us just for them to survive. Do you know how many they are deporting every day from their countries because they see us like cowards? Anywhere where Nigeria go, once you mention say you be in Nigeria, or you when he did they go dress back, he go adjust because he, the things he is he, hearing about us is not is not good. Then you just wake up from bed. You say we'll be children. You know how many of our boys, they don't keep for this traveling journey. Where did they go? Say, oh, make I just go survive. Make I just go make life. If our country good, if our Nigerian good, where did be Libya? Where our boys go? They run enter. Where did be, be Ghana? Ghana, we, we don't forget. Say we, now we say Ghana must go. Where it be? Where be Ghana? Where our boys? People where we ask say they must go. Where our boys every day run, run enter their country. If our country is good, how many of our boys they go Libya? Where they not go come back? All in the name to try to cross to enter Italy or the nearest country there. They go drown for inside their sea there. You never see them before. As a human being, when you get brain, you know they think, say these people are passing through hell. Our boys, they're they, they, they prison for, for, for Dubai. I was in Dubai one time when I met a Nigerian boy was arrested and sentenced to 25 years imprisonment. I cried for almost three days. I wept and I cried. I was confused. Even things that I went there to buy, I was almost saying, I'm not buying. Let me go home. You know how many that they, they, they jail every day? You know, you do you know how going in that people are passing through? Because you did that house of waiting call now. You can't feel say nothing they happen. Something go happen to now. You think say people they happy? We are not happy. They massacre our youth with a cry that one. You they wake up from your bed to come tell us it will be children. We are raising causes. Is the causes up to the life of those people that they massacre? Crow, crow. See my eye, see your eye like this. They kill our youth, citizens for that matter. And you said people should be happy. We should be dancing. In abroad, yeah, Peking go, Peking go their high school, which is the one we call secondary school. They go give and work permits, go and work. In our in the, the universities, they, they program them, the time of work and the time of learning. Our children from Nigeria, they go, they go graduate, they go even go serve the country, come back, come become we barrows, uh, we barrow pushers for streets. Come become Okada riders. Come become, even some, they join gangs. All in the name to survive. You never see a graduate where they shoot die because he go join gang. You think this, the family, when he train, are they happy? You wake up to call us children. If you not get anything to talk where you go for that, your house of what he call. Keep your mind silence and continue sleeping like others we they see you nana now not get anything on they do for them not to sleep the problem of nigeria not being not consigned lecturers teachers doctors when he lecture teacher go teach lecturer go lecture to put you for the position at the end your salary only your wardrobe allowance go pay like 10 lecturers and you say, make people, they jump up. Make people, they dance. They clap for you. You monkey, Elliot. If not be money, who be you? Doctors, where they save life. 
Now, not even know whether they, they exist for that country. Now, I make when you go to general hospital, you see thousand and one suffering because when they are not well paid, they won't answer you. Not the one way they feel do, they go do. Then you jump up from your bed, they say, children, we are raising courses. You're going to see courses upon courses this time. Except you remove your hand from evil. Tell your so-called honorable people to remove their hand from evil so that you will be free from the causes. If not, on all of now, every evil government, every evil president, every evil senator, every evil, evil, evil leaders, the causes of the women in Nigeria will kill all of you. We will not go survive. Because I know say many of them don't they suffer. Huh? Now the agbada they cover on a shame. The sickness when I get where they make when I go come abroad every day. No, no, no. Huh? Now never say anything. You cannot eat your cake and have it back. Continue to expect the, the abuses. Except Nigeria is a new Nigeria. We need a new Nigeria. We need a new open doors. We new we need good lights. Good roads, good educations. We need freedom. We need where citizens can air their views. Where citizens can speak their hearts, their minds. Not be where we say we did democratic. And yet we cannot say what well, we cannot even talk. No authoritarian government. Now we get for Nigeria. I, you must do this. This is what I want all of you to do. God will punish all of you that are forcing people against their, their opinions and their wish. You guys will not go free. You Desmond Elliot, I come back to you again. If you don't have anything to say when you go to that your house of waiting call, keep your mouth shut. Sleep like others. You are warned. Goodbye.